like I saw the horseshoe and then I started fanning it away and I saw it's just a little piece of iron, an iron ornament or something. It's a whiner. Welcome to Exploring with the Doug. My name is Jeremy and today we're diving underneath this bridge. Now there's an added bonus to today's dive because just upstream, if you look through the trees, you can see there's the remains of an old 1920s bridge. Now I've only been to this spot one time and I found a whole bunch of stuff. I even found a sawed off shotgun right upstream at that abandoned bridge. So today we're going underneath that bridge. We're gonna see what else we can find. The river's kind of weird today. Half of it is crystal clear and the other half is a mud pit because there's an old creek upstream and it's flowing pure mud it looks like. So it's gonna be an interesting dive. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. Let's go up to the car, let's get all the gear on and I will meet you guys down in the river after this annoying little commercial break. See, that wasn't so bad, was it? Okay, we are down in the water under the bridge. Everybody's getting in. Look at old Brit over there taking care of his girlfriend. Isn't he sweet? Got Georgia River boys in the water. Silent Nick, he's already being silent because he's under the water. So let's get underwater before he starts finding everything and see what we could find. Dude, it looks cool like I saw the horseshoe and then I started fanning it away and I saw it's just a little piece of iron an iron ornament or something that's cool that's, <laughs> that's an eater nail it is. and I found that it looks like the inner workings of maybe a thermostat or a clock <laughs> I still haven't found a, uh, a horseshoe it's yet. right here and I found that sawed off, like, I mean, right before you get into the unbearable current. So, like, there could be sheesh, all kinds of stuff buried here. Oh, 
There's always a bottle tab. Oh, tab. Or yeah, bottle tab. What the hell's that? <laughs> Might be a piece of pottery right there too. It's got a, it's got a little curve to it. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go on a limb and say that's pottery. I mean, it doesn't have the. I don't know. That's an iffy. That's an iffy piece. We'll get the professionals on the, on the web to tell us. Okay, I just got out of the water. I'm super tired, going all over this river. Found some amazing things, including that giant wheel that I have no idea what it goes to. Let's take one more annoying commercial break, and when I get all this stuff off, I will meet you guys back at the house, and we will do a deep dive into my treasures. Okay, we are back at the house. Let's check out some of today's finds. Found three golf balls. This is kind of a crazy find. It's part of a phone. Didn't find the phone anywhere. Maybe part of a pay phone. I think, but I'm not sure, this might be some Indian pottery or just a really cool looking river rock. A couple fishing lures. This is kind of like second place for the find of the day because it's just, it's a, it's a, it's a piece of iron. But if you look close, it is definitely something figurative, something, a piece of decoration to something. But I have no idea. If you're staring at this and something just clicked in your head that you know exactly what this is, leave a comment below and, uh, I won't be so curious anymore. <laughs> found two horseshoes. I found a water gun. That's kind of cool. Doesn't work a bit. This is another piece of steel or iron. I have no idea what it is, but if I was going to guess and reach outside the box, I would say maybe this is a hammer head or maybe a little, an ax, a chisel, something. Who knows? It's probably just a random shard of steel that fell off the bridge though. I found this pocket knife. It's not in the worst condition. I bet it can be salvageable. I don't see any writing on it though. Do you guys have any idea how valuable this knife could possibly be? Believe it or not, this is the find of the day. This is a wooden wheel. The steel is outside, of course, and that's steel, but wooden, wooden spokes off of a Model T car believe it or not i'm pretty sure i'm 99 this came off of a model t now here's what i learned about wooden wheels is they were on cars 1916 and earlier i don't know if this is a ford chevy dodge i don't even know if those cars were available back in the day i do know that ford were i take that back so this could be a ford model t this could be another brand who knows? If you guys got any more knowledge of that than I do, make sure you tell me in the comments below because we all know I'm an expert of nothing, but I love finding stuff and that's why I have you, the viewers, to help me out so you can teach me and we can all be smart together. Check this out. Guess what this is? You're right, it is a hammer. Nothing exciting about this hammer, but I found that hammer and lots of other amazing things. And the cops were involved, but not in this video. One of the next videos coming out, you're just gonna have to wait and see. Make sure you subscribe, hit that notification bell, and I will see you on the next dive. Woo! I found two lawn chairs 
and a table and I set it up. 